Good afternoon. My name is Michael O'Neill. I'm from the Informed Medical Options Party. And today I'm coming from you on a rather gloomy Wednesday afternoon out here in the Nulla Nulla Creek. Uh, this is a, um, a home of Slim Dusty. It's up in North New South Wales and a very beautiful place. What I'd like to talk about is the, uh, the rollout of the um, COVID vaccine which started this week. And of course we have the media blitz and the political blitz all extolling the great virtues and how that this would be the saviour of mankind. We have the Prime Minister saying things like it will lift the curtain um, on this vaccine. Of course, once again, we'll be able to travel, we'll be able to socialise, we'll, everything will go back to uh, normal if you have the vaccine. But the interesting thing is there are a lot of people who don't want the vaccine. They're not interested in the slightest. In fact, uh, current polling says that it's more than 50%. More than 50%. That's a significant amount of people. Um, on Sunday, the Daily, uh, sorry, the Sunday Telegraph had uh, their big blitz. They uh, they covered all the wonderful things that can happen if we're only vaccinated and how how good it's going to be for our society. And of course, it even had a, a lady who they said that uh, she was a, a an anti-vaxxer and she can't wait to receive the jab. Well, good good for her. That's that that certainly is her right as an Australian citizen to have that vaccine if she chooses to. Uh, we respect that 100%. And then, of course, last night we saw on Sky News and um, uh, we saw a doc scene by, by gutter journalist Jane Hansen. And true to form, Jane uh, dredged around, gave very little facts and besmirched people's character. And um, it was quite a farcical, but I was interested in a few things. First of all, I, um, I was interested in the comments of the health minister, um, Mr. Greg Hunt. Mr. Greg Hunt is a minister. I don't know if we realize what a minister is. He is to minister the people and he's in the House of Representatives. That means he is to represent the people. Let's just think about that for a moment. He's a minister to represent the people. Mr. Hunt, you said in your words, and here I'm quoting, that you're immensely pleased, immensely pleased that these people that um, disagree with you are being marginalised and are having very little influence. Really? So how does that make you a minister and a representative of these people? These people are Australian citizens. Now, we're a political party and you're a part of a political party and it's our job and your job to risk to represent. Now, as a minister, you have a higher responsibility and your responsibility is to uh, represent all the people of Australia, not to represent the pharmaceutical companies, not to represent a one mantra. You are to be broad spectrum and represent us all. And you are not. You are not. You have abysmally failed in your job. You're unqualified to hold the position as health minister. I, I find this appalling, and, and you were so smug on that, on that video. This was the part that really concerned me. We also have people like Margie uh, Danchin who was on there, and um, it's very interesting to know that Margie Danchin is a member of the Immunisation Coalition. Oh, did we hear about that? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, which is funded by vanu vaccine manufacturers, uh, CSL, uh, GlaxoCline, Merck, and Google. Oh, did we hear that? No, no, no mention of that whatsoever. Of course not. She's a group leader of uh, vaccine uptake at the um, Murdoch Children's Research Institute. Another conflict of interest funded by pharma. And she is also promoting COVID vaccine amongst the elderly children. Look, we are in an abysmal state. We are the citizens of Australia. Uh, have a right to be represented and we are not being represented. At the Informed Medical Options Party, we want to represent you. We are anxious to represent you. We, we know it's so important that you have representation. I do not want the COVID vaccine. Why would I? I'm in perfect health. I'm, I, I, I understand how the body works. I have great trust in my body to heal me. I don't need to be inserted with something, a poisonous substance. And uh, by the way, when you are inserted by something into your body, it's called, against your will, it's called rape. So we are not going to participate in the medical rape of Australians. We're going to fight for their right to be able to refuse this. Now, it's all very well, uh, Mr. Hunt, to tell us on the documentary that it's going to be completely uh, 
it's not going to be mandatory. But there is nothing uncertain as a politician's promise. We don't believe you. We can see the writing on the wall. You're no jab, no pay. And what it did to uh, people who had no interest in vaccinating their children, we saw what happened there. The Informed Medical Option Party, we are about choice. We are about the freedom of Australian citizens to choose what goes into their body. We object that this would be in any way compelled and coerced upon us. It's a terrible state of things. The conflict of interest in this whole deal is staggering. I recommend that you go to our website at imoparty.com and you can pull up there a document that we have prepared called a conflicts of interest register. And you will see that most of the stakeholders, most of the people that are speaking and promoting the current vaccine policy have a conflict of interest, have a huge conflict of interest, and this shouldn't be. So this ought not to be, this needs to, be, this needs to change. And we at the Informed Medical Options Party will not put up with it. We will not stand by it because it's wrong. It's always wrong. It's wrong in every other sphere of um, business and it is wrong now. So I'd like you to, uh, I thank you today for listening to this and I, I, we, we must pressure our governments. We can't let them sleep on this one. We can't let them get away with it. And you can put out these videos, Mr. Ms. Hansen, and, and do these shows, but we don't believe you. We don't believe a word of it and we are going to um, come after you. You have to be accountable for telling these lies. Um, so you, those people of Australia that are watching right now, I tell you, we are on your side. We are batting in your face. We're not going to let up. We're going to take this r right to the wire. We, ca we count this so important because freedom is everything. If we lose our freedom, we lose everything, honestly. And this, we're on the threshold of losing freedoms in many, many ways. We have already lost some. Uh, there's dark days ahead, but we must fight. Fight, fight for all we're worth, and we will fight for you. Thank you. Signing off, this is Michael O'Neill for the Informed Medical Options Party.